went into the season. We were pretty, pretty, pretty excited. We had a good group of boys, and uh, we started off the season strong. We won NCS, um, and we kind of we weren't ever really weak, but we had a lot of injuries, a lot of illnesses, a lot of issues, especially on our back end. But in the last few weeks, I feel like we've really shored up those weaknesses, and we came off a really, really good NCS race. So it's really exciting. We're in a good spot, I feel. Well, this guys team has faced a lot of challenging injuries and we stitched together a team that is going to clutch up tomorrow and I'm really excited about that. Some of the things that we've done together are we have these pasta and dance parties that have really connected us together and created a nice team culture and it's going to show in the race tomorrow. I think the first thing that necess isn't necessarily like um, a big thing, but we focus on it a lot in practice is just consistency. So whether that's like showing up every day at practice or stretching every day or doing all the maintenance work that you have to do, I think that's the main thing that has put us in the position that we are in today. But in terms of being good in competition and finding um, where we need to be as a team, I think the Rough Rider Invitational was a re really good practice for what we're going to be experienced, experiencing tomorrow. Almost every single person, if not every single person on our varsity team has been running and training since early June. So everyone's been putting in work for about six months now. Also, everyone's like really close with each other. We're all good friends with each other, and we all hang out with each other after practices, and we just have fun while putting in the work. Um, NCS, we had Alex breaking the school record, coming in with 14.59, which was very strong. We dominated that race. And then Connor and Blake coming in second and third. So I think that may have been our first time getting one, two, three. And after that was Baron and Paulo, who both had really good races that day. And I think they can come and uh, do it again and have even better races to, tomorrow. Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, yes. Andy, I am so hungry. I'm going to destroy that pasta. Yeah. That's apparently one of Daisy's biggest fears. We've looked for She said she was experiencing some um, 
And she's out there pacing around. So we're thinking about her. Um, I want to over. I heard somebody recommended cartwheels. She recommended that herself, actually. She was like, I feel like a cartwheel, cartwheel would help. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would help you. Oh, that's a game. When it happens to me, like, I like to do like a back bend. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that, like, sorts it out. What if we rode motorcycles in to the state meet? I feel like that'd be hype. Like pulling up on like a <laughs> motorcycle. Like if we didn't die, it'd be cool. We okay. got to go. How's the bloating this morning? It's all the way gone, which is really nice. Yeah, last night I have never experienced that before. It came out of nowhere, and then I like deflated really quickly. So. The course is super dry, which is nice for the shoes that we want to wear and good turnover. So I think that conditions are great. Um, it's not too early like it was last year, and that's going to be really beneficial to kind of have our routine that we've been working on the whole week um, in the morning, getting a good meal in, and then kind of getting to the course at a reasonable time. And we've been taught to get out hard. And I think NTS, when Shay and I did that and the rest of the girls did that, I think it was really easy to get into a rhythm the second mile and tough it out the third mile. Um, just being put in that position is like super beneficial because we're able to endure a, lo a lot more than other competitors can. I think that we're just gonna have to trust each other. Um, we've been doing it the whole season and everything that we've been working towards, we'll just put everything we have on the line and everyone else will do that and we'll see where that takes us. So for the girls, it's going to be Sloan Poland, Caroline McCool, Kate Cabanina, Rachel Moen and, and our back end, we have a pretty interchangeable back end at that point, and they're really going to have to work together to start picking off some places out there on the back end of the course. That's typically where other competitors fall asleep a little bit because there aren't any crowds out there. It's pretty much deserted out there, save for a couple of coaches. So definitely making that move and starting to bridge that gap towards more of the front end of the race is going to be important. Box 11B, University City of San Diego, ranked number four in the state. Second in the San Diego section, they won the Clovis Medium Schools race. Winter Moritz, their top individual, finished third in San Diego. Box 12A, Campolindo, Alvarado, they're ranked number one in the state in this division, number 18 in the country. They're the North Coast section champions. They've won two consecutive titles, three of the last four. They've been in the top six eight years in a row. Their top individuals, Ellie Buckley and Shea Volkler, 2-3 in the North Coast, 5-13 last year.
grandparent. The third place for the 1756 is a junior to the local senior of Kevin Lindo. He's the last year to be coming up. Kevin Lindo, a senior from the 1753 L.A.D. Buckley. He's coming to the last year to The 2019, the 2021, and the 2022 California State Champion, Seven Bowl Score Ever, third lowest time ever with 92.08, Campolindo. chance at sweeping division two. We'll see how that turns out. In this race, we've got Campolindo looking for a sweep. Mile split ranked us to be the third overall team, but rankings don't really mean anything. So we're gonna go out there, compete, and finish first. Box 11B, number one ranked team in the state. They have just went one, two, three in the North Coast section, finished with 28 points as a team. Campolindo of Moraga. They've been in the top three seven times. They were second in 2021. They won the title in 2019, second in 2018. Campolindo ranked number one this year. And box 16A, Lowell of San Francisco. San Francisco champions are 16 in second of state. On your mark.
Second place team from the North Coast section, scoring 109 points, 80-47, Campolindo. Chicken Caesar salad last night? I did, yes. So it was small where, and it was also where does way this... more expensive than this chicken Caesar salad. Yeah, so. which which chicken Caesar salad wins today? Uh, this one. It was like double the size. The chicken was better, <laughs> more chicken, and it was not as expensive. And overall rating out of 10? Um, I've had a lot of salads in my time. <laughs> I'd give it a 7.5. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about the dressing. It was mm. it was okay. Okay. You you seem to have some good things to say about the dressing last night. Um, I did actually like the dressing last night, but the price and the cold? size really like lowered it to me mm. for like a oh. 5. Daisy, what was your choice today at Chili's? I had vegetarian tacos with shit. Okay, we're not even going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> were, Ellie, what was good. what was your choice today? I had tacos with beef. With beef, all right. Oh! And, uh, no and uh, so you've been to Chili's many times. Uh, where does this rank up there with your all-time Chili's menu choices? Honestly, it was like a solid choice. Um, I wasn't going for anything like too out of my comfort zone. So I thought that nachos were, would spit, like fit like right in there. And I honestly enjoyed them a lot. Not too hungry, but you know, it was good. So all like right. 7.5. Ooh, two 7.5s, all right. So we have a C average right now. It's very campo. Caroline, what's your, uh, what was your menu choice today? Um, I also got the nachos with guacamole. Um, I thought they were pretty good. They sort of filled what I was looking for, you know. I needed something salty and filling, um, but not overly, you know, I couldn't eat a burger per se uh, or some chicken tenders. So that, I, the water really was cleansing, you know, in between bites of nacho, especially with the guacamole addition. So I'd give it a solid 8.4. Wow. 